In this video, we will demonstrate how to upload multiple files which include text, binary and image file types using Spring Boot. We will use ThymeLeaf as our template engine to build the web pages for upload but of course you can use any other view rendering method. Here I have Spring Tool Speed running on my machine which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's create a new project by clicking File, New, Other, Spring Boot, Spring Starter Project and call it File Upload. Click Next. Let us choose from the Web node Web, from the Templates node Time Leaf, and from the Core node DevTools. DevTools is optional, however, one of the advantages of using it in the development mode is that it provides live reloading of the changes you are making without requiring you to restart your application. Click Finish. Let us create the controller package and class. So right click choose new, choose new package, call it controller, click finish. Create a new class by right clicking and choosing new class and call it file upload controller, click finish. Let us mark it with the controller annotation. First, let us create a static string variable to indicate our upload directory. Here, I am first getting the system property of user directory which will point to the root of this project in the workspace and then I am appending a subdirectory uploads to it. It can be however any directory you choose to specify. Next, let us create the request mapping for the root. We want the user to be presented with a web page through which they can specify the file to upload. So we create a method which takes in the model and inside it simply returns the name of the view to present to the client. This is where Time leaf will kick in and show the web page. Let us fix the imports. Let us create the web page. Time leaf expects the web page with the same name to be present in the templates folder under source main resources. So let us right click and choose new, go to other and from the web node choose HTML file. Click next. Give it the same name which our controller is returning. So upload view.html. Click finish. First, let us include the XML namespace for time leaf using XML NS colon th equal to http www.timeleaf.org. Time leaf is very strict, so let us add the closing node for meta. Inside the body, let us create a form whose action would be to call the slash upload endpoint method is post and encryption type is multi-part slash form data. Inside, let us create input type file, give it a name of files and with the multiple attribute, indicate that it will accept multiple files. Let us have another input type submit with the value as upload files. Alright, let us test and see if so far what we have done is working. Before that, we will have to make some additions to the main application class. First, using the component scan annotation, we indicate the packages we want Spring Boot to scan, which will be by default the current package of the main class and we also want the controller package to be scanned. Let us create the directory by using new file, get the directory name from file upload controller dot upload directory variable and say make dir which will create the directory at startup if it does not already exist. Let us fix the imports. Let us run the project by right clicking on the project and choosing run as Spring Boot app. The application is deployed to embedded Tomcat that started at port 8080. Let us go to the browser and type http localhost 8080. This will hit the root request mapping in the controller and return the upload view. And here is our HTML page with the browse button using which we can select one or more files. Click open. And here is our submit button which calls the upload endpoint. And of course, we have not coded it yet in our controller. So let us do that now. Going back to our controller, let us create the request mapping for the upload endpoint. It will return a string and takes in the model which the view will have access to. 
using request param of files, remember that is the name we had given to our input button on the upload view page, it will receive a collection of multi-part files. First, let us create the string builder variable to hold the name of the files. Now, using a for loop, we take each file from the list. We first create a path instance variable, file name and path, which constructs the path in the file system using the directory and the file name which we get using the file dot get original file name. Next, we append the name of the file to our file names variable. Finally, we write the file using the path and using the bytes from the file in the loop. There are no options to specify. Let us fix the imports. Let us choose the java.nio.file path. Finally, to the model, let us add a message variable stating successfully uploaded files and append the file names using the file names dot to string method of the string builder. Finally, it returns the name of the view upload status view which should be shown to the user. We see wiggly sign. Oh, we should have put the model statement and the return statement after the loop. So let us move them over there. All right, now it's happy. Let us save our file and you can see at the bottom the live reload at work and we do not have to restart our app for the changes to take effect. Finally, let us create the upload status view. So go to templates, right click, choose new, other, web, html file, give it the name as upload status view.html. Click finish. Let us put the time leaf namespace. Put the end tag for meta. Now inside the div, using time leaf if check, we check if the message variable is there and if so, then we print it. Using time leaf, we can assess the variables we added to the model using the syntax of dollar sign, curly braces, and the variable name. Let us add a link for the users to go back to the home page to upload more files. Let us save this. Now, let us go to the application.properties file and add spring.servlet.multipart.max file size which defaults to 1 megabyte to the appropriate value we want for the app. Let me put it as 15 megabytes. Let us put the spring.servlet.multipart.max request size as 15 megabytes too. Let's save this file. That is it. Let us go to the browser, go back to the main page, refresh it, go to the browse button, choose the three files. One is an image file, the other one is a CSV file, and the third one is a text file. Click upload files and we see the message successfully uploaded. We see the three file names and the link to go back to the home page. We forgot to put a space between them. Let us go back to our project and fix that. Let's append a space here. Going back to the file system, this is the root of our project in the workspace and our app created the uploads folder underneath. And here are the three files. The image file, the CSV file which opens in LibreOffice 3 since I am on Linux. And here is the text file. All got transferred properly. In this video, we saw how to build a Spring Boot app to enable file upload. We use time leave to build the web pages for allowing the users to choose the files to upload as well as show them the status of the upload. Thanks for watching.